My name is Justine Garver Ashelt, and I work on the Somali program of the International Peacebuilding Organization, Interpeace. It is my great pleasure today to tell you a little bit about the Mobile Audiovisual Unit, also known as MAVU, a project carried out by our local partner in Puntland, the Puntland Development Research Center, also known as PDRC. Puntland is a semi-autonomous area in northeast Somalia. And although it is a post-conflict environment, it enjoys relative peace and stability. However, government structures tend to be weak, and so um, affiliation and traditional processes related to clan are still very crucial to Puntland society. Many people in Puntland are nomads, and therefore they are frequently on the move looking for water and grazing land for their livestock. Again, a lack of strong government and security institutions means that clans are often heavily armed, and this in combination with the increasing depletion of crucial common resources such as water often leads to local conflict. Conflict which divides communities and further breaks down communication between people who are already often isolated. In Puntland, a substantial majority of the population has little to no access even to simple media such as radio, let alone TV or internet, and illiteracy is also quite high. In rebuilding and reshaping a society, it's very difficult if you can't even involve most of that society in the conversation about how to move forward. This is why in 2010, our local partner PDRC developed the mobile audiovisual unit, MAVU project, to bring information, awareness, and debate on key societal issues such as peace, reconciliation, um, the dangers of piracy, democracy, and such things, um, even to the most remote areas of Puntland. Using simple technology, such as an inflatable screen, projector, and video cameras, MAVU screens films on these important topics, facilitates discussion, and films the discussion which then is made into new films which are shown across Puntland, thereby creating dialogue between communities and also between communities and their government. I'd like to tell you about one of the success stories of the Mavu project, a reconciliation that took place in Reiko district of Puntland, where two communities were in open conflict over a shared piece of land. Over the course of a year, people on both sides were killed, camels were looted, and basically there was a standoff between the two communities. Mavu began to visit these communities and gradually create an atmosphere for dialogue, first by showing films and breaking the ice and kind of building trust um, within the communities. And this initiative really resonated particularly with some very key groups within these communities, like youth and women, who had been primary victims of the conflict but ultimately became agents of change for peace. Now, the women in these communities began to use traditional Somali poetry, which is a very, very resonant means of communication. First, to unite amongst themselves within their communities, and then to begin to reach out to their counterparts in the conflicting community. Mavu filmed, edited, and shuttled these messages for peace across the conflict divide often at great risk to themselves. This began to break down the barrier to communication, and it allowed the people in these communities to begin to see the conflict from the perspective of the other side, often evoking a very emotional response. Now, this created social pressure within the communities, and the social pressure forced the elders in the communities to sit down and begin to negotiate for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. And out of this, four things happened. The open hostilities ceased. The communities exchanged compensation. They were formally reconciled, which is what you're seeing here. And ultimately, peace was restored. So technology was, um, it facilitated this communication. It was fundamental to this project and to the reconciliation. However, this project and this reconciliation would not have been successful were it not for the deep contextual understanding, the peace building approach, and ultimately the great courage shown by the people involved in this project. 
In a perfect world, my colleagues from PDRC would have been here to tell you about this themselves. But since I have to speak on their behalf, let me assure you that they made all the difference. And even as we're here to celebrate technology and what it does for our work, I urge us not to lose sight of the people and the process behind the technology, because that's ultimately what makes it happen. Thank you.